As a qualified skincare expert and doing hundreds and thousands of different clients and body care treatments over the years, as well as training therapists, really it is about worrying about sensitive and allergy skin issues on the body. It can happen just as much as on the face area so that you can actually get areas of irritation. Now you've just got to work out what part of the body are they on and therefore work backwards to what might have caused it. For example, if it's on areas where clothing's quite tight, like underneath bra strap or around waistbands or underneath arms or around sort of elbow creases, knee creases, that's areas where you can get sweaty. So that could be, for example, the fabric of the clothing. My best advice is actually to use natural fabric clothing and no synthetic clothing if that's, if that's the instance. But also it could be as well in those areas that you need to look at using all over the body as well as in those areas, more antiseptic washing. So that when you're cleansing, you're actually cleansing and washing with antiseptic products. And then you're applying onto those areas, desensitizing, moisturizing, calming ingredients. Yes, the classic calamine, for example, but then aloe vera and aloe vera gels as well and desensitizing natural plant extracts and lavenders and calming ingredients. That's what's going to suit you. Often gels and lightweight gels are going to suit in those areas. If you've got very dry skin and it feels quite dry and cracky, is it dry and cracky but not itchy or is it dry, cracky, and itchy. And obviously when you get any very inflamed skin on the body that is very infected or very itchy or very red, you must consult your doctor because that might be a medical condition and they can help sort that out very easily often. But if it is you're looking at your beauty routine and it's dry and flaky, then you need to exfoliate more and an exfoliant will take off the dead skin cells and that's the scrubs and the grains. And then put a richer or moisturizing body oil or body cream or body butter on, something that's nice and thick. Lots of sheer butters and oils, even a neat oil like an argan oil will do that or a jojoba oil or a vitamin E oil. So it can be a simple product, but it can be a very effective product too. And then on the body area, you can also get areas that maybe because of hair removal, you seem to be getting irritation. So is it around bikini line? Is it around leg area? Is it underarm area, chest area or back area for your guy too when you're doing hair removal? In which case, take a second look at your hair removal method. Is it working for you? Because if you're always having rashing, is it your hygiene procedure before you remove your hair? In which case, use more antiseptic wipes and antiseptic washes before and after. Don't apply perfume, aftershave, um, deodorant, anything like that around hair removal, whether it's home hair removal or salon removal. If that doesn't work, then change your hair removal method. There are different ways of removing hair that could work for you without causing any rash or irritation. So when we're looking at the body area, you can see there's lots of different concerns. And also there's sometimes as well what's touching your body or what you're putting on your body. You can react to product. You might have changed an ingredient in your product or a brand. Always test patch first and see my video on test patching. You can react to changes that touch you. For example, washing powders, staying in a hotel, going to another person's house, fabric that you're sitting on on a seat if a seat's made of fabric so they could all trigger off sensitivities and irritations so it's really about looking at your whole system and also what area those rashings are on deciding whether it's medical go to the doctor or whether it's beauty look in your home care regime look at how you can prevent it and calm it down and actually treat it long term and in the future too and if you are having sensitive issues on the body, also refer to my videos and tutorials on sensitive issues on the face, because that could help you too.